Hey what's up guys, today I'm running the SSX 303 here on this rainy ass day. It's pouring rain outside which is just perfect for this gun because it's a non blowback gas gun so it's not gonna have any issues but still it needs to be tested in the most harsh conditions. I'm gonna drag it through mud, I'm gonna bump it around, I'm gonna make sure that it works and that you will have a great experience. After confirming it today, it's gonna go into mass production and they're gonna land in the warehouse in November 2020. So if you want to get one of those, you can get it. Also testing a new camera. This is the Runcam Lite, it's only 100 bucks. So if you're interested in making videos, that's a good choice, testing this as well. What I can already tell you is that I like the convenience of using the same mag in my primary as in my secondary because it just makes game preparation a lot easier. Same mag, same BB, same gas and ready to go. Running it at 1.8 joules with 0.46 gram BBs. Can't wait to make some stealth kills with my suppressed secondary and this super quiet primary. Let's go. Right from the beginning, I'm trying to find the perfect sniper spot to use the advantage of my super quiet setup. The vegetation to my left is quite dense, which will provide enough concealment and that's exactly what I'm looking for. With the suppressed SSX-303, it will take them a while to figure out where I'm hiding. They found me quicker than I expected, but with the semi-automatic fire I can put enough PBs on target to suppress them. That's something that I wouldn't be able to do with a regular sniper rifle. I will use that to my advantage. This is the best spot ever. Never gonna move. Ha 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 such a nice gun to play. The game mode of the second round is defend the barn. I'm already soaking wet, so I decided to join the defenders. At least now I have a roof over my head and Joseph will join me as the camera guy. Let's see how it goes. So Chris is now defending this barn right here and I'm gonna be behind his back and let's see what happens. Are they coming from all sides? They come from all around. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> so Chris, yeah? what's happening? Uh, we are defending this hut here. Our enemies have infinite respawn, so we're gonna die no matter what. It's just a matter of time. Got him? Yo. Oh, where those trees come from? That's from this window, I think. Man, this is so weird even for me because I have to stay low. I have to take care of the camera so that it doesn't get shot. I have the west, but I don't think they can see the west properly. So I'm like waiting to get shot. Oh, we need to get shot as well. <laughs> Seems like a good idea to reload the colors up right here. No, it was an SSX. Oh. Why was it an SSX again? Oh. Hey! Okay, I'm done. I'm done. Oh, I got shot in the finger. And this is just ridiculous. Like, this camera will get shot if I stay here. So I should probably go. Dead! Dead coming out! And oh. I got shot so many times. Oh. 
Sinan, welcome back. It's getting dark right now. What's up? Oh, okay. That's a nice one. These are just things that can happen in airsoft. It's totally normal, so we have to get used to it. <laughs> Hold the game. Wet, cold. Got shot. I just totally forgotten the shoes. I got full order in my son. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was about my to say. 360 euros added a sneakers like just look at them. Man, totally. are you crazy? Why would you do that? I forgot my You're shoes. You're faster now. with sneakers, you know. So was it a good idea? Uh, the full auto in the end. I mean, why does the guy peek through a window and shoot full auto? It's so unnecessary. And I got full auto into the sun, which was really painful. But other than that, a good game, I think. All right, had a couple rounds with the SSX 303. It's still pouring rain. It's insane, actually. People are even going home because it's raining so bad, even though it's just 2 p.m. But yeah, so far the experience has been great. No issues whatsoever, which I'm not surprised because, you know, we are using this platform since a long time already. So it's just a proven system. Before the game, I was actually concerned about magazine capacity. I thought, man, it's my primary semi-automatic. I only have 28 rounds. Could this be an issue? Actually not. I wasn't even running through all my mags because it's a very accurate gun. It's basically a sniper rifle. I'm running it at 1.8 joules, so it's very close to the performance and power of my SG-10. And the magazine capacity is not different to my sniper rifle. So it was really not an issue. Also because mag changes are just incredibly fast and you can perform them quite well if your gloves are not soaked like mine. Right. What I also liked is that it's lightweight, it's minimal, it's very slick and you know it's not as long as a sniper rifle. It's more compact and you can run with this thing for days. It's just it doesn't weight much. It's a very lightweight gun because it's fully aluminium. I really enjoyed the option of having the hop-up adjustable from the outside so I'm glad about this design choice because in the beginning we were like ah we could actually just use the TDC from the SSX you know 23 use the Allen key adjusted but I prefer this much more. You do sometimes have to adjust it, you know, temperature changes, uh, maybe the bucking gets wet or something. Camera was also doing great. I didn't look at the footage yet, but it's still recording, it's still blinking. I assume it still works, but we're gonna see that once we are back. And if you see footage now, then it worked. Of course, the experience of being able to, you know, have somebody in your crosshairs and you pull the trigger, man, it's just so quiet. Like, the people always go like, then they have to think of you for a few seconds, they look around. And sometimes they actually don't even call it because they're like, huh? Nobody shot, what's going on? But you know, it just threw the second time and they leave the field with a very confused face. I uh, was really enjoying that. And was also enjoying that when somebody was coming up close, uh, I didn't want to shoot them or I'm actually not allowed to shoot them at close distances with 1.8 shoots. So just switching to my secondary and you know, taking him down. Yeah, so far so good. Uh, if you're interested in the product, you can check it out at knowledge.com. It's on pre-order, it's landing in November 2020. And I'm telling you, it's an amazing gun. It's gonna be for you, even though if you're worried about power limitations, because you know you can just change nozzles on this, change gas, and bring it to anything between one and three tools. Hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay, and I'll see you on the next one.